We've had our hands on thousands of bags over the years. I'm Tom from Pack Hacker, and in this video, we're talking about some great travel backpacks we've been digging from the last year. And stay tuned until the end of the video where we'll talk about some of our all-time favorites. Let's get into it. We're kicking off this video with one of our favorite new travel backpacks. Tortuga updated its popular Outbreaker design that allows you to customize your organization. Since the Tortuga travel backpack comes in 40 and 30 liter options, you can choose a size depending on how much you need to bring. Its built-in organization is bare bones, which caters to packers who prefer using packing cubes and pouches. That isn't to say there isn't a place for small items though. A zippered stash pocket for bulkier gear like gloves or a buff covers most of the front panel, while a pocket at the top is better for headphones, your phone, and keys. There's also an admin pocket to hold tech and other small accessories, plus a separate laptop compartment. Aside from the capacity, there isn't much difference between the layout of these two packs. The lone distinction is in the admin panel, where a passport fits horizontally into the 40 liter bag and vertically into the 30 liter. Otherwise, you'll find that the pockets in the 30 liter are just a little narrower, though the optional hip belt is the same. We love how it takes the load off your back and we find the overall harness system super comfortable in both packs. Plus, it's adjustable so you can find the best fit for your torso length. This is super important because everyone has a different body type and more customizability is really great. Some Pack Hacker team members traveled the world with the first version of these backpacks. And we are digging the updates to the Farpoint and Fairview. From design to materials, Osprey took the bags we already loved and made them even better. The bags are durable and eco-friendly thanks to the recycled and blue sign approved polyester and a PFAS free DWR coating. That means it's not made with harmful chemicals. The front has a large stash pocket to lock down a water bottle or store damp gear. And we use the zip pocket at the top for smaller items to keep a 311 bag within easy reach at airport security. These bags are easy to pack with cubes and pouches since they open fully clamshell and there are straps to hold your gear in place. There's also a fairly heavy, large internal mesh pocket and a laptop compartment with external access, which lays flat under your packing cube so it's not in the way. The breathable mesh back panel keeps things airy and the harness shifts higher or lower so you can adjust it to your height. The Fairview straps are curvier to fit a feminine frame, though it works well for uses of any gender. Whether you want to get your gear from point A to point B or are looking for a pack you can wear across the city and on a light hike, these bags can handle it without breaking the bank. We even included these as the star bags on our hostel packing list, link down below for what we put inside. I've stayed everywhere from hostels to hotels and Airbnbs. With so many places to explore, picking my travel backpack sometimes seems easier than deciding where to take it. And that's why I like Magic Travel, this video's sponsor. It's a free travel AI assistant that can help you plan your next, and it planned out my entire itinerary for me. It's great if you're looking for a hotel under a certain price or near a specific place. It even sifts through hotel reviews and descriptions, so you have all the information before you book. It's really easy to use, and I had such a fun time coming up with an itinerary for my upcoming trip to Brazil. You can save even more with their Magic Elixir Rewards program, which unlocks deals from 5 to 40% off that you won't find anywhere else. Plus, get 10% free Elixir using our link in the description below and get a deal on the first hotel you book. So head to Magic Travel to start planning your next adventure. And head to the deals page on our website to see offers from all of our sponsors. Sometimes less is more. That's definitely true for the 35 liter Civic Travel Bag from Evergoods. It has a simple harness system that's comfortable to carry and the bag feels super premium as well. The shoulder straps feature dense foam padding that's spongy and thick, and it forms to the shape of your body without feeling stiff. The sternum strap clips along a daisy chain of loops to support your load, and we really like the beefy hip belt that's nicely padded like the shoulder straps. Plus, you can just tuck it away if you don't need it. Along with the mesh-covered foam along the back panel and shallow air channel, this makes a pretty comfy travel backpack. Of course, what it can carry is important too. The front pocket has a sideways opening with internal organization to keep small accessories sorted. A top pocket handles bulkier gear like a tech pouch. Your laptop slides sideways into a separate compartment along the back panel, and there's also a roomy yoke pocket, which is the best place to put quick grab gear. And there's even a built-in leash for your keys. Like most bags on this list, the main compartment opens clamshell, and it also includes two sets of daisy chain loops to hook in a smart tracker or other small accessories. Two pockets along the front panel give you space for smaller gear like a packable jacket or a battery bank. 
If you're packing for the outdoors, you want a bag that can handle the elements. The Patagonia Alt Via pack has paracord straps, a top hatch closure, and nice roomy bottle pockets. Plus, it just looks like it belongs outside. If you're going camping in the backcountry, you'll appreciate the show stealing harness system. It includes well padded shoulder straps, sternum straps, load lifters, a beefy hip belt, a flexible back panel, and a rigid frame that keeps the 36 liter bag from feeling saggy. There's also a rain fly tucked away in a small pocket at the bottom of the pack that's easy to pull up in a downpour. Even when you're exploring the urban jungle, this pack will feel comfortable, fully loaded, as you make your way from the train station uptown to your hostel downtown. This can be tricky to accomplish with travel backpacks because they can be so big and heavy, but Patagonia does a great job at pulling this off. The paracord side straps let you attach trekking poles, travel tripods, or umbrellas. And there are also two water bottle pockets. We found it much easier to equally fill pockets on both sides as it distributes the weight and allows easier access to your gear. A large top pocket is great for quick grab items, though keep in mind that you'll have to dig around for your phone, and when it's full, it'll weigh down the top hatch when you open the pack. Some travelers like open space in their travel backpacks while others prefer more organization. If you're looking for a durable travel backpack with space for just about anything, check out the Globe Rider 45 from Matador. With a 45 liter capacity, you can pack for a pretty long trip. I did two years in a 40 liter backpack, so that extra five liters would have been nice. There's a hidden pocket on the back panel for your passport and a smaller zipper pocket above the bottle pocket where you can store your wallet. Your laptop slides in from the top and there's a stretchy stash pocket for gloves or your damp umbrellas in the front. Above that is an admin panel to hold your keys, a pen, headphones, and other small tech accessories. Inside the front panel of the main compartment are two compartments, one mesh and one made with liner fabric. The latter works as a makeshift shoe compartment and holds larger gear you want separate from your clothing. And the stretchy pocket works well for toiletries and other small gear. Plus, there are two more mesh zipper pockets between the two sides in the main compartment, so you have options for packing socks, underwear, belts, or other gear. When you load it with clothing or cubes, a cinch cord locks it into place, much like a suitcase. While many travel backpacks open with zippers, that is not the only option. Roll top closures can help you flex the bag's total capacity. And when you combine that with X-Pack, you also get more weather resistance. The AdX31 was Tom Bin's first time using the material and it gives the bag a rugged, durable aesthetic while maintaining the brand's usual flair. We found that its thickness causes the roll top to unroll slowly over time, though buckles on the side of the bag prevent it from coming undone. That's a small price to pay for the flexibility of stuffing 41 liters worth of gear inside of a 31 liter bag. These shoulder straps cushion the weight on these shoulders due to the soft foam blunting the edges and a sternum strap on rails helps carry the load. A removable waist strap can lock the bag into place on your body and brings a little bit of pressure off the shoulders as well. If you find the roll top makes accessing the main compartment a bit finicky, you'll appreciate the external pockets. The front pockets include O-rings for modular gear like a key leash and additional pockets for gear organization. There's also a side pocket that can fit slim shoes and a place for a water bottle on the other side. A laptop slides in along the back panel and the main compartment's wide opening makes it easy to fill which is a definite plus since you can only load it from the top. Some travel backpacks are one trick ponies. Others work for everyday carry and a trip. The Alpaca Element Travel Backpacks organization makes it really easy to find what you need. The admin panel alone has three zippered pockets, two liner pockets, two pen slots, and three hub accessory attachment points. Alpaca's modular hub system includes clips for your keys, sanitizer, and cards. There are also front and side pockets, some of which have extra pockets inside, plus a laptop compartment. Once you get into that main compartment, you'll find, wait for it, more pockets. They're on the front and along the side walls. Pockets, pockets, pockets. While all those features are great for everyday use, it is not quite as optimal for a travel backpack since bulky gear like packing cubes, clothing, and towels obscure much of the built-in organization. However, if you like using the pockets provided for your tech, toiletries, and small articles of clothing and more, the Elements Travel Backpack may be right for you. Though it's comfortable to carry, we found that this pack sits a bit lower on the back, so it feels a little like someone is pulling you from behind, even with the capable harness system adjusted correctly. We don't think it's a deal breaker, but definitely notice it and your mileage may vary. It's nice to have a bag that looks great, but sometimes comfort takes a front seat. Whether or not it's your style, the harness system of the Navigator A82 makes it super comfortable to carry even when the bag is full. Four panels of mesh covered cushion padding form nicely to your back and blunt the feeling of your laptop in the rear compartment. 
The luggage pass-through creates a vertical air channel and another horizontal brake promotes airflow. Staff writer Christine carried this bag in high Florida humidity and managed to avoid a sweaty back, which is really impressive. The well-padded shoulder straps include a sternum strap that slides along the strip of webbing for the right fit. It looks slightly saggy when not fully packed, but compression bands cinch things down when carrying less. There's a quick access pocket at the top for quick grab items, a larger front panel pocket, and stretchy pockets on either side of the bag hold your bottle or umbrella. The laptop compartment opens to lie completely flat, so you may not need to take out your device at the security x-ray machine. You can carry a laptop and a tablet, plus there is a zippered pouch for accessories. Unzip the divider to access the main compartment or pack it like a duffel bag through the front. However, once you get inside, you'll have wide open space for packing cubes and other pouches and organizers. So load it up and hit the road. This next backpack carries 40 liters worth of gear, making it perfect for longer trips. But the compression keeps it from looking out of place for everyday carry too. The North Face router borrows day pack like aesthetics from its smaller siblings to disguise its size. There are two water bottle pockets, a front compartment that opens like a book and a soft line top pocket with a unique inverted layout. You can store smaller gear like tech accessories and everyday carry items in an admin panel. And there's a 16 inch laptop compartment with pockets for additional accessories and a tablet on the back. Compression straps on the side and bottom lock things down for everyday use, and the plain open space of the main compartment is perfect for filling with packing cubes and pouches on a trip. The harness system isn't as robust as other large backpacks we've tested, but it still does well. The shoulder straps attach with thinner material to provide flexibility and accommodate different users, although a hip belt doesn't provide much support. We like the flex vent back panel on this bag and other North Face bags, Plus the harness system comfortably handles a bag of this size. If you've already invested in cubes, kits, and pouches, you can put them all to use inside of this bag. The tour travel backpack from Eagle Creek has plenty of space to use it as you'd like. That way you can customize it to your packing preferences. The main compartment has plenty of space and a deep internal mesh pocket acts more like a divider. Of course, every pro has its con, and this bag's downside is a bit of floppiness due to the lighter weight materials. Eagle Creek tames this with compression straps and gives you enough space for a longer trip, depending on your packing skills. The harness system is also vertically adjustable to find your perfect fit, and the shoulder, sternum, and hip straps hide away when you want to shove it in the overhead bin. There's a rain fly too in case your destination is living up to its rainy reputation when you land. To pack it, start with the two pockets in the front. Small gear goes into the top one and bulkier items like gloves and a phone and a battery bank go in the lower. The main compartment packs suitcase style with hold down straps and lockable zippers. Plus there are toggles where you can attach some of Eagle Creek's modular packet accessories. We featured these bags in the past, but there's a reason we like them so much. Here are five of our running favorites over the years. To see even more options, check out our travel backpack guide and detailed reviews. You won't be surprised to hear me mention this brand. The Air Travel Pack 3 is one of the highest rated travel backpacks on our site, thanks to its updated harness system, smooth compartment access, and refined build quality. We're excited for new releases and hope to see a fourth version coming soon. Then there's the GORUCK GR2. It's nearly indestructible, and I would know since I lived out of it for two years while traveling the globe. This max carry-on size backpack holds up in nearly any condition you throw at it. Plus, their SCARS warranty is hard to beat, and they repair just about anything, as long as you didn't light the bag on fire or something like that. Whether you're a photographer or not, the Peak Design 30 liter travel backpack is awesome to pack for a trip. It has structured sides, a seamlessly integrated compression system, and of course, plenty of attachment points for camera gear. There's also the Manal Carry-On 3.0, a bag we keep mentioning in our travel backpack videos because it is great for long-term travel. The tech compartment opens completely flat for easy loading and the clamshell style main compartment is simple to pack too. It also includes extra organization like a nylon pouch for shoes. And finally, we've got the 34 liter Heim Planet travel backpack with shoulder straps that are easy to stow away when you put them in the overhead bin. You don't need to zip up an entire back panel, just slide them through the luggage pass through for a more streamlined design. That's a wrap on our latest roundup of great travel backpacks. Thanks for sticking with us and let us know down in the comments below what your favorite travel backpack is. We've gotten so many great recommendations from you guys over the years. Thanks for keeping it here at Pack Hacker, your guide to smarter travel. See you in the next video.